Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Zeddy here and I am back at it again to bring to you all part 2 for what if Naruto had black air force energy aka was the reincarnation of Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. Now, in case some of you guys haven't seen Tokyo Revengers then I would definitely recommend watching it. Now I'm not going to lie, the first couple of episodes of this series are kind of boring because it kind of just starts off with this kid getting hit by uh, a train and then like he gets like isekai to when he was younger or something like that. It's, it's so weird but you just gotta watch it it's a pretty dope anime and it's pretty much the definition of black air force energy if that was an anime another definition of that would probably be yujiro hanma but that's besides the case i might make a deku reincarnation on him sometime that being said though guys, I do have one quick thing to say before I do start the video. Number one, the last part on this video, aka part one for this series, basically didn't end up doing as well as I thought it was for the first couple of hours that it's been out. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, if that continues and this video doesn't really get that much traction, I'm probably just going to leave this series as it is. Um, because I mean, if a series isn't doing well, then I'm kind of just wasting my time pumping it out when I could be focusing on other series that will perform better on the channel and will give me more benefits more views you know more views equals you know better stuff for me you know what i mean more more money in my pocket so it's like you know your boy is trying to pay for some things which uh yeah and uh can't afford to be broke on these these tough 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 times so yeah uh all jokes aside though guys yeah if the series doesn't ex exactly end up performing better then i might have to drop it who knows because the series is really fun to record so i might just keep going just because but yeah that being said i'm gonna get right back into where i had left off all right so i hope you guys go on to enjoy the what if Alright, so we pick up the story right after Sasuke and Naruto ended up basically going to the ramen shop. They'd pretty much arrive, Naruto would pay for the ramen, and of course, this is when they would end up basically going their second ways. However, not before Naruto would tell Sasuke to get ready for these boring missions, as Sasuke would say, what are you talking about? And Naruto would basically look at him as he would say, we're going to be chasing dogs, like cats, dude. Like, it, it, it's 100% certain. It doesn't matter how strong we are. At least for two weeks, we're going to be chasing around dogs. This one, Sasuke would get kind of aggravated after hearing that. I'd be like, oh, great. As he'd pretty much end up walking home, Naruto would as well. And he would end up training as soon as he gets home. This is when Naruto would basically end up kind of just uh skipping over to the very next day as naruto would train for about two to three hours but afterwards would kind of just pass out and the very next day as he expected they started chasing around cats now we're gonna have a little bit of a two-week time skip because that's precisely how long they're gonna keep going until sasuke finally gets enough of chasing cats around and he finally tells the hokage that he wants a better mission and that if he doesn't get one he's gonna act out as this one naruto would basically just smirk as kakashi's just sitting there like oh, these kids and uh one thing that i have to say before i continue the story guys i'm so sorry that on the last part i said kraken like bro come on now i i was i was on something that day or something like that but like bro come on now no way i got that wrong i wasn't actually you know doing nothing but still though i got that wrong and i 1000 percent shouldn't have that being said yeah draken i know i know people told me in the comment section and i felt so dumb afterwards but yeah that being said it this is when hiruzen would basically look at sasuke and he would pretty much proceed to be like all right then you want a harder mission all right you can have the C rank one. Sasuke would smile as it's at this point that a drunken man would walk inside. Now he would see Naruto and Sasuke and be and have like a little bit of a smirk on his face. But this one he would turn towards Sakura's direction as he would see the pink hair and the outfit that she was wearing. As she would basically, as he, not she, but he would basically proceed to walk over to her as he would say, So this little puny thing is gonna be taking care of me. This one he would say, huh, I might as well get my refund because I'm dying on, on the way there as this is when Haruzen would basically kind of just you know uh what's it called um kind of like give himself like a slap in the face no 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 no. he would he would headbutt him no what's the word that i'm looking for 
he would pretty much just you know, you know when you grab your head and you kind of like you're just irritated by things and you just like you hit your head or something like that. He face palm. Yes, he would face palm and just be like, uh, as it's at this point that Naruto would crack a smile and so. Sasuke would basically just kind of just sit there not really saying a thing just kind of being excited for the fact that they're gonna get the mission now Sakura she would look at him and she would be like why you as in her head she'd be thinking cha you know that weird stuff that inner monologue that she used to have and Naruto would give her a stare of if you do anything I'll kill you as Sakura after seeing that would immediately just be like I uh yeah bro you you can get away with anything you want trust me that meant nothing to me no harm done and Naruto would basically just nod his head as he's like yeah that's right you better be an obedient little dog as sakura would just kind of be a little scared and it's at this point that everybody would kind of just be dismissed now afterwards this is when naruto and sasuke would end up going over to sasuke's place to train and they would train for the following next 10 hours meaning that they wouldn't even get any sleep honestly they're the sleep levels that they end up getting is not the greatest they get about like six hours of sleep because let's say that by the time that they went to ask for the mission it was around like noonish or something like that i don't know just just something that pretty much equates to 10 hours and then like six hours of sleep right that being said though this is when they would pretty much end up meeting tazuna the bridge builder by the gate of the village and they would all pretty much end up going outside this is when everybody would finally start the journey as about 30 minutes later this is when naruto would notice a puddle now naruto's not dumb he could clearly tell that it was genjutsu and as soon as he does naruto would quite literally take out his blade as he would slash in the air and this is when the genjutsu would pretty much be broken as naruto would throw the katana up into the air and say sasuke as he would pretty much hold his hands out sasuke would jump off of naruto's hands as he would jump up into the air and kick the blade straight into one of the demon brother's skulls causing that demon brother to fall onto the ground with the other one immediately getting scared of these genin as he would pretty much stop in place and just look around he's looking for a method of escaping but this is when naruto would blitz behind him and smirk as he would kick the back of his head literally crushing the man's skull as they would have been taken out in less than five seconds and this is when naruto would pretty much go up to the man who has his sword in his head as he would say give me that don't be taking things he'd say swiper no swiping as it's at this point that the man would just fall onto his knees and quite literally just be on the ground as naruto just you know wipes off the blood off of his sword and continues the walking this one tazuna would just be thinking yep that kid is scary as they would continue the journey and kakashi would just be sitting there like whoa like this kid is insane there's like a darkness to him he did that without a second thought as they would continue the journey and kakashi would just kind of be pondering this thinking what would minato think about his son he would say that well yeah he is powerful he kind of sacrifices in the aspect of his humanity as he would proceed to continue and kakashi would just be thinking that he's no better himself when he was around naruto's age he was basically doing the same thing for a living i mean the man was in the ambu that being said this is when all of them would pretty much proceed to go into the go into more of the walking and stuff like that when they would finally walk for about another two hours this is when a heavy mist would finally start to surround them as they would all pretty much end up realizing that yeah this is probably a jutsu because there's no way that there's mist this strong no matter where they go this is when kakashi would say everybody duck as naruto would quite literally stand there and when the blade comes spinning right at them naruto would quite literally just chuckle as he looks down at the ground and then pretty much proceeds to jump up into the air as the blade like is coming right under him and naruto would kick the blade straight onto the ground so just imagine like naruto jumps over the the little blade the the uh, sword and stuff like that right naruto jumps over it and when the blade is right under him naruto just stomps at it as it would literally fall onto the ground and break this is when zabuza would kind of just um you know body flicker in front of all of them as he would say how dare you disrespect my sword as he would pretty much say i'll have your head for that zabuza would then proceed to basically rush at naruto and in an instant kakashi would blitz at zabuza before he even gets a chance to do a thing to naruto and he would kick him away as zabuza gets hurt pretty badly because sasuke already has a sharingan activated because he's not about to let his friend get hurt you know what i mean they're practically brothers from how close they are that being said seeing this haku would immediately realize that this guy might be in trouble if those are the genin as 
it's at this point that Kakashi would pretty much just lay back and just be thinking, yeah, I just need to get my guard up. He would look at Sakura as he would say, Sakura, guard the guard, guard the bridge, bridge builder. As Sakura would do so, she would go over there with her kunai looking useless as ever. And Kakashi would kind of just stand there as he's just getting ready to, you know, if anything. This is when Kakashi would just look towards Sasuke and Naruto as he would say, guys, step back, I'll handle this. And this is when Kakashi would pretty much go into the battle as he would pretty much have to fight with Zabuza. However, the fight would pretty much go the same as it does in canon. And Naruto let it happen because Kakashi needed to humble himself. And that's exactly what Naruto let happen. He pretty much saw the way that Kakashi was and how he was thinking he was about to show off. But no, the man got trapped and he ended up getting, do he ended up getting you know, basically dying if it wasn't for the fact that those two were there as it's at this point that naruto would crack his neck and just say oh, kakashi i can't believe you got trapped by a simple water prison jutsu he would quite literally blitz at zabuza so fast with zabuza's own sword and like mind you and he would be holding that with one hand. The man Naruto is broken when it comes to his strength. Naruto would then quite literally slash at Zabuza. Zabuza would have to jump back. And, you know, Sasuke would end up have, handling a bunch of the Shadow Clones. Because, you know, he wasn't about to let no Shadow Clones stop Naruto from doing what he wanted. So, yeah, Naruto would go over there and Zabuza would have to jump back. As it would quite literally become a 3v1 with overpowered ninjas. Sasuke, not that much, but Naruto, definitely a whole lot of brokenness there. That being said, this one Haku would throw a bunch of send bonds at Kakashi as Kakashi was thrown off guard. The man literally like was not breathing for a long time and then out of nowhere he finally regained himself and Haku came in so fast throwing Senbon right at Kakashi's vital points causing Kakashi to get knocked out instantly. This is when Naruto would quite literally just chuckle and be like, oh my god, this leader is so weak. As it's at this point that he would say, you're weak sauce, Kakashi. And Kakashi would pretty much just be passing out into unconsciousness, just thinking, uh as he just passes out and it's at this point that sasuke would see that haku was trying to go hit naruto now after seeing this sasuke would quite literally take out his blade as he would blitz at haku and they would get into a battle of speed sasuke and haku would both just be blitzing at each other trying to slash each other's head off whoever did it first was gonna basically be the winner when it came to this little challenge and yeah that's pretty much what they end up doing for this time that being said though guys this is when they would pretty much all just get into like one-on-one -on -one fights where it would be Naruto versus Zabuza and Haku versus Sasuke. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you guys can imagine how it goes, except this is a what if, so I'm going to have to explain it to you guys. All right, so which one should I start with first? Sasuke and Haku. Now, I'm going to start off with Naruto. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to start off with Naruto and I'm going to stop at like the midway point. And then I'm going to cover Sasuke's and stop at the midway point as well. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good system. All right, so as for the Naruto versus Zabuza fight, the way that it goes down is that Naruto would quite literally throw his sword right at Zabuza. As his sword, I basically mean Zabuza's. But, you know, Zabuza would catch it and say, what are you getting at, boy? As Naruto would quite literally just say that he doesn't need it. As it's at this point that Zabuza would say, well, how dare you? As he would rush at Naruto. And now Naruto would take out his blade as well. And he would start getting into a, a, a Kenjutsu fight with Zabuza. Anytime that Zabuza would pretty much try to parry, Naruto would quite literally nick him every single time. Which would, after a hundred nicks of just getting cut slowly over time, Zabuza would begin to get worn down as Naruto is pretty much been vibing this entire time. Naruto has not had to try a single bit. Like, the man Naruto has not been having to put in any effort. The man's basically been dancing around all of Zabuza's attacks. And he's basically just kind of bullying the man because it's like, come on now, bro. You're not about to do that to the, uh, the demon of the Mist Village. Like, it's not normal. But, yeah. Naruto in a nutshell ends up getting into a sword fight they would clash back and forth as they would they would actually be having a pretty good battle it's not like it's completely one-sided because Zabuza is basically blocking a couple of Naruto's attacks but 
in the end, Naruto ends up winning by shooting a wind a wind bullet jutsu right into Zabuza when he was off his off his balance by basically shooting uh what's what's his name Zabuza into the air and right as this happens Naruto was about to land the finishing blow but as for Sasuke and Haku she would have ended up trapping Sasuke in the ice crystal mirrors but Sasuke would use his katana to deflect all the send bonds using his Tutomoe Sharingan to keep up with him and they would just be having a pretty dope battle overall this is when Haku would notice that Zabuza was about to get killed and he would shoot out of the ice crystal mirror as this would leave Sasuke the perfect opportunity to get out of there. He would blitz towards Haku but he wouldn't exactly be fast enough and this is when Naruto would pretty much end up getting impaled right through like the chest, like literally right through the chest. Haku would come in and catch Naruto off guard as he would impale him right through the chest with a Senbon needle. Now, this one Naruto would turn towards Haku and blood would begin to spill out of Naruto's mouth as he would say, <coughs> and this is when Haku would simply smile saying, I'll always be by your side, Zabuza. Now, this is when after seeing that, Sasuke would lose himself to a rage and would blitz at Haku as he would slice his head off immediately and Naruto's eyes would just kind of go black pitch black this is when a black and purple ominous aura would begin to surround naruto as it's at this point that naruto would grab the senbon ripping it out of his chest because it narrowly missed his heart and naruto would start getting these demonic eyes as i bet you guys are wondering black and purple energy that's not the nine tails well no it's not the nine tails not only is it black purple but it's red as well because the nine tails is influencing naruto healing him up slowly and naruto would look at zabuza as zabuza would quite literally quake in fear he would be in the presence of a real demon see if zabuza thought he was the real deal then uh, he's about to get a rude awakening because when it comes to naruto and zabuza they are two they're in two way different leagues Zabuza is in a whole different world. He's basically in uh, 500 BC, and Naruto is basically over here using nukes and tanks and all that stuff. So, yeah, when I say Zabuza is terrified, he is terrified. This one, Zabuza would basically just look up at the screen as he would say, Guys, I'm about to die, but don't worry, guys. You guys can do one thing for me to save my life. And you guys are probably wondering what it is that you guys are going to be able to do for Zabuza to save his life. Well, He's about to tell you guys about the sponsor, and you guys are hopefully going to listen to him. <laughs> no, but yeah, guys, it's time to tell you guys about our sponsor of the day, Fandom. All right, so now it's time to tell you guys about Fandom. Now, Fandom is an online merch store company that sells pretty much anime apparel. Anything ranging from My Hero Academia to One Piece, from Demon Slayer to Naruto. They have a bunch of options to choose from. And up on screen right now, you guys should be able to see a bunch of options. Whether it be Tokyo Revengers, maybe I might put One Punch Man, maybe not. Maybe there will be Jujutsu Kaisen up there. Maybe there will be... Um, another anime that i can think of dragon ball maybe dragon ball might be there they have pretty much any anime merch that you guys would want to wear they pretty much have it and it's at a very reasonable price seeing as right now they're having a 50 percent sale on their already affordable stuff so if you've ever wanted to get yourself some anime apparel then i would definitely suggest going to fandom anytime you guys go out there and you guys see a shirt or design that's from an anime like storage thing they're always overpriced see a normal shirt that you'll find at a store will probably run you about $30 on fandom it'll be way cheaper a hoodie don't even talk about how expensive a hoodie would be at a real store and not only that but fandom does very good rates when it comes to shipping so what are you waiting for guys go shop at fandom now and with my code zether you can even get 5% off your order so what are you waiting for make sure you guys go on to fandom and copy yourself some merch for your boy that being said it zether out Alright, so we're pretty much done with that little sponsor break, and now we'll finally get back into the what if. Alright, so Zabuza would basically look at Naruto as he would close his eyes, pretty much just accepting defeat. Not being able to move, Zabuza just drops his sword and pretty much lets the blade cut straight into Zabuza's heart. As Zabuza would fall into the ground, Naruto would quite literally just start stomping Zabuza's head in as he just caves it in as much as he literally can. And by the end of it, Zabuza's head would quite literally look like Flat Stanley. Like, that's how bad it was. Naruto at this point would then look at Sasuke as Sasuke would put his hand over Naruto's shoulder and say, Calm down, Naruto. This one, Naruto would look at Sasuke and Sasuke would be giving him a stare of you better calm down or else i'll make you calm down and naruto at this point would slowly start calming down saying you're right 
As he would breathe and he would then grab Kakashi's. He would throw him over his shoulders and look at Tazuna as he would say, let's go to your house, old man. Tazuna would begin to lead them there as they would arrive to the village and it's at this point that they would see the poverty and the state of the village. Now Naruto after seeing this would get extremely angry. He would get like triggered to a whole different level because while Naruto is like does have black air force energy it's not like he doesn't have a heart you know Naruto does feel for these people and seeing people in this state just made him feel anger. A bunch of overwhelming anger. That said, Naruto would ask who did this. As Tazuna would say, oh, it was Gato. Gato and his men. They've been ruining this village for years. This is the reason why we need to build a bridge. It's going to be revolutionary for us. It'll help us go back into trading and get out of Gato's little business. He's been br bringing us to ruins throughout the years. As he would basically have a teardrop go down his face. Naruto after hearing this would say, oh, okay, interesting. As he would quite literally grab his sword and tell Sasuke to come along with him. After they put Kakashi into the bed and pretty much end up just kind of leaving before dinner even starts. Naruto would pretty much just ended up grabbing like a little bit of a bowl. And that had like some rice and chicken in it. And he would basically pass on to Sasuke. As Naruto would basically tell them all that he's going to be back with Gato's head. As Tazuna would just kind of be like believing him like he has no doubt because he just saw what naruto just did out there so to doubt naruto is like to doubt that black is you know a dark color you know like it is you know what i mean it's like it's like doubting that let's see let's see let's see let's see that if you throw an apple into the air it, it won't fall you know like you can't doubt that man you know what i mean that being said though yeah naruto pretty much ends up fighting gato's base and uh when I say he makes him pay for it, he literally does. If you guys have seen Tokyo Ghoul, he pretty much puts uh, Gato under that same horrendous torture that Kaneki was put through. And afterwards, he pretty much ends up grabbing Gato's head by his hair and just having Sasuke slice the head clean off. Afterwards, Naruto would see all the gold and all the money and everything that Gato has, and he would pretty much end up taking some for himself, as Naruto would actually get pretty rich off of that. But afterwards, he would end up basically just leaving that base there, seeing as Naruto wants to use it later on. That being said, though, guys, this is when Naruto would return back to the team, letting them know that, yeah, Gato's taken care of, and quite literally showing them Gato's head as all of them would be shocked. Tazuna would be as well as Inari would come downstairs seeing the head would literally throw up and say, you, you, you killed him? As he would pretty much end up crying and running away as his mom would have to help him and Naruto would just be thinking, what a sissy. It's at this point that he would sit down and finally get to enjoy, uh, what's her name? Tsunami? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Tsunami. He would finally get to enjoy Tsunami's home-cooked meal. As it's at this point that he would pretty much just end up finally getting some rest. Really not doing anything up, to, up until uh, Kakashi wakes up. Actually, no, yeah, he's going to be doing something. During that time that Kakashi was passed out, Naruto decided that he's not going to have a weak teammate on his squad. So, he pretty much ends up taking this time to train Sakura. Now, Sakura is pretty afraid of Naruto, but seeing as Naruto has Sasuke with him to try to help out with getting Sakura to do what she needs to do, Sakura actually ends up learning a little faster than what she did with Kakashi. She ends up learning tree walking, water walking, all that stuff. And she ends up finding out her elemental jutsu, which I'm going to be saying is water. Because why not that being said though guys this one they would finish building the bridge and kakashi would of course wake up the bridge would have been built way long ago however uh you know they were just waiting for kakashi to heal up this is when they would all basically finally be done with everything and kakashi would ask what happened naruto would tell him the truth and kakashi would say oh I looked pretty lame back there, didn't I? Naruto would just say he did, he did, as he would pretty much just smile, and this one Kakashi would just facepalm, as it's at this point that all of them would end up walking back to the village, and when they arrive, this is when Naruto would basically just be walking in as his little brother Kanahamaru, one of the only people who Naruto is actually kind to, would run up to Naruto, throwing a kunai straight at the man's neck, mind you. Naruto would catch it mid-air and say, Kanahamaru, as Kanahamaru would run away, just laughing, thinking that 
that Naruto's chasing him. And Naruto would just give him a little one minute head start. This is when Konohamaru would turn the corner and bump into Konkuro. As Konkuro would grab Konohamaru by the throat and pick him up saying, You got a death wish kid? How about you watch where you're going next time? As he would say, You know what? There won't be a next time. As he would basically start getting his hand and preparing to quite literally slaughter Konohamaru. However, this is when Naruto would blitz behind Konkuro. And that! It's where I'm going to be ending. What if Naruto was, uh, no, not what if Naruto was, but what if Naruto had black Air Force energy? That being said, if you guys want part three, you guys are going to be having to hit a very, very steep like goal. I need this video to hit about, let's say, 200 likes. Yeah, let's go for 200 because usually part two doesn't really go too crazy. So yeah, 200 likes for the next part. And uh, yeah, after that, you guys will definitely be able to enjoy the part three of what if Naruto was uh, Tokyo. No, 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 no. What if Naruto was Mikey's reincarnation, aka Black Air Force Energy Naruto. That being said, hope you guys go on to check out the sponsor. Make sure to like the video if you like the content. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. That being said, though, I love each and every single one of you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. And uh, yeah, Zether out.